could you introduce yourself with your name and tell us a little bit about your current position and your academic background? My name is Julia Ding Lawson. Um, I use she, hers pronouns. Um, and so I studied civil engineering at UBC. Um, I was the civil engineering club president this past year, so that was really fun. During my time in university, I interned at a small engineering consulting company in San Francisco, which is where I'm originally from. Um, like over the summers um, and yeah so I just graduated in May um, I started working full-time uh, at the same company I interned at and right now is actually kind of an interesting point in my life because I decided to take on a new opportunity at a different company so the reason why I'm off work right now is because I'm in between jobs so um, I was working full-time at the company I'd interned at for I don't know maybe like four or five months um, and I start my new job at a different company on Tuesday. So I'm excited about that. So for your new job, what type of company is that or what type of role is it? In my original company, uh, or my, the first company that I interned at, um, it was a lot of uh, municipal type engineering. Um, so we were, you know, replacing sewers. I was helping out with a couple um, pump station uh, research projects. Um, I was designing accessible curb ramps, which are basically where the sidewalk dips um, into as, into the crosswalk. So uh, people with you know with mobility issues have like an easier time navigating. And so this new job that I'm, I'm going into is a more transportation related uh, company. It's a larger company, which is what I was looking for. And what I will be helping out on is like the design of roads and highways and there are some things that will overlap between my previous job and this job. It seems like the sense of community is a lot of what you enjoyed about civil engineering. Are there other things that stood out to you about civil engineering and that made you pursue that major or that specialization in particular? So actually I started off as a first year in the faculty of science um, and then I transferred over to engineering because I realized that I really didn't like anything to do with life sciences. No offense. Um, everyone has their own thing. And so civil engineering just seemed like it had a lot of, you know, breadth to the major. And, and it does, like you have people doing things from designing dams to like construction management and city planning. Um, so the, I, I like the fact that there was a range um, and I didn't have to necessarily choose exactly what I wanted to do for a little bit of time. I had a little bit of time to decide. What have you found as you've been working so far and as you've been studying are like qualities about engineers that really make them stand out in their job? Something that university doesn't stress as much as it probably should um, is just being able to listen to people better. I think, uh, I mean, especially with civil engineers, you're working on these big public projects where you have a variety of different stakeholders who come from drastically different backgrounds than you. When I went into civil engineering, I wasn't aware of this, um, mm -hmm. but sometimes there is controversy, like with a lot of civil engineering projects, like when you look at the Trans Mountain Pipelines, uh, when you think about Site C Dam and, you know, other projects where there are marginalized groups, particularly indigenous groups that are opposing civil engineering projects. And you got to uh, like, it makes you think like, why? Um, yeah. What led to this? And I, you know, it's my hope that engineers in the future can be a little bit better at listening and not just listening, but actually taking what people say to heart and incorporating it into their design to create something that is beneficial to everyone. But so far, what's been one of the most valuable ex events that has happened? There was this one time where I was speaking to my boss. He was the vice president of the company. Um, and I was giving him some drawings uh, that I had made. I, I gave it to him and you know, I was still an intern. I was still learning. There were a lot of things that I didn't know. And as I, he was going through the drawings basically being like, oh, you know, add this, you need to do this, you need to do that, like, this is wrong and stuff. I guess I was like apologizing, you know, I was like, oh, sorry about that, sorry about that. And at, after he had gone through, you know, my, my drawing set with me, he was like, hey, you know, like, I understand that perhaps, you know, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but, you know, perhaps like as a woman of color, you know, there are certain ways where you feel like you have to, you might feel like you have to make yourself smaller or more palatable um, in order to 
be successful within an organization. Um, and that would include apologizing. He was like, you don't need to apologize for these things. It's okay to not know things. You're still learning. You're an intern. And he sort of, Jeff is a white guy. That's my boss. Um, okay. And he was talking about, you know, a little bit about like gender and racial dynamics within the industry and how he's like, you know, trying to understand things better from his perspective as a white man. Um, and I thought that was a really refreshing kind of talk. I wasn't expecting it from someone like him, um, who's like, you know, the vice president of the company. Like, why is he talking to me about this? But it, it was really, it felt really empowering. I know that there are some, you know, sometimes those kinds of conversations can go sour, but the way that he did it, it really did feel like he was being respectful. He ended the conversation by telling me he would set me up with a mentor. Um, and so the mentor he set me up with was another senior project manager uh, within the company. Her name's Lorraine, and she's also Filipina, like myself. Um, and yeah, that was a really valuable experience to me, just to be able to talk to her and like she's given me great advice. Um, and it's just nice to have someone, you know, who you feel like is on your side. That was an amazing experience. And that's why I'm really sad to leave the company that I was working at. Like it was, it was a great experience. And I was so glad to be able to have that uh, experience with Jeff and with my mentor. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a such a cool experience that you were able to have. And so yeah. do you really have any recommendations for anyone else who's feeling the same way? So like whether um, like they're women or people of color in the field of just engineering and especially civil engineering. Seeking out people who are understanding of where you come from, um, regardless of their uh, identity. I think that's helpful. There's so many people in engineering, you will find people that will enrich your life. You just gotta know where to look. What would you say is your most memorable experience during your time at UBC? At the 2018 Alumni Student Night uh, that Civil Club hosts every year, um, we had these student leadership awards. I had received like the rookie award my second year, um, which was is usually given to like a second year who's like real go-getter. <laughs> I think I received it because I was, uh, I started off Civil Club as the secretary. Um, I just wanted to be there to take notes um, but then I ended up also being the mentorship coordinator, uh, like the first mentorship coordinator at, in Civil Club, and then also the vice president student life um, by the end of the year. <laughs> During the award ceremony, um, the president at Civil Club at the time, her name's Erica Mason, she's great. Um, she came up to me after I had received my award and she was like, I can see you being president in two years. And um, that was really powerful to me because, you know, I had started off Civil Club just as secretary. I was like, I don't really, you know, I, that's not really for me. You know, I just want to get to know people in Civil Club. It really opened my eyes to like what I could do. Um, and yeah, so I did end up being president two years later. <laughs> um, and I, and it all started, I believe, with that. So that was the most memorable experience because it led to so many more memorable experiences for me. If you could give one piece of advice to your student self, what would that be? I would like to tell myself that I I belong, regardless of, you know, the other faces in the room, like I deserve to be there. I would also tell myself to probably talk to someone about mental health. <laughs> um, so yeah, if anyone is ever feeling like they're lost or alone or just really struggling with mental health, like it's okay to reach out. Um, that doesn't make you any less of a person or anything like that. That's really powerful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So what is your favorite part about being an engineer? I like the fact that I get to design cool things and get paid for it. And I think that it's so cool to be part of a profession that is able to, to really shape society for better or for worse. I, I feel very humbled. I would recommend engineering to any high schoolers who are considering it. Yes, do it. That's great. Yeah, thank you so much for all of your insight. It's really appreciated. <laughs> no, thank, thanks for having me today.